Hatsumatsuka. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you next week as the Glenwood staff proudly presents your exam. Take our test, take our test, study hard to do your best. Take a pencil and a seat, students, and we'll provide the rest. CTRs, raise the bar, why we only live to teach. You will succeed by any means. Don't believe me? Ask the teens. We can sing, we can dance, just please give us a chance. Education here is never second best. Grab a seat and pencil, do a dance, and then you'll take our test, take our test, take our test. Can lose feeling for a teacher who's not teaching. He's not whole without a soul to discipline. Ah, those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly those good old days are missing. Ten months we've been online with no homework to assign. Needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. Most days we just teach from middle school. Distant, sad, and masky walked in. Oops, a daisy. Take our test, take our test. Ask a question if you're stressed. It's been days since we've had anybody here, and we're obsessed with your classes guaranteed. Yes, indeed, we aim to please. With COVID out there growing, let us help you. We'll keep going. Course by course, one by one, till you shout. Enough, I'm done. Then you'll cry yourself to sleep as we assess. Tuesday you'll feel uneasy. For now, let's study to take our test. Take our test. Take our test. Won't you please take our test? What is up, my wonderful quarantine friends? I hope you guys are having a great time. I hope you have food. I hope you have hot chocolate in your best pajamas while you're watching this video. Uh, remember that uh, our quarantine time is almost up. We only got today and tomorrow. Then when we come back on Monday, we have a review day where we'll cover substitution, elimination, and graphing of systems of equations. Hopefully we're feeling pretty confident about that stuff by now. Um, today and tomorrow uh, won't be any new information. i will just be kind of thinking about the old information in a new way. So uh, let's get right to it. Our quote for today is, you don't have time to be timid. You must be bold and daring. And that's by Lumiere, uh, who is one of my favorite characters of all time. He always seems to be able to put a positive spin on stuff and he also has courage to take risks so um the world needs you guys right like it's a <laughs> more or less a dumpster fire right now and we need the next generation to come in and take charge be smart and change the world and that's you and whether that happens today tomorrow or 10 years from now we need y'all to step up so um be bold be daring don't be timid right if you're gonna do something do it to the best of your ability. So uh, what we're gonna be doing as part of our kind of review is we'll be talking over test questions today and tomorrow. Today we're gonna go over test questions one, two, and three. And tomorrow we're going to go over test questions four, five, and six. There are only six questions on the test. You have to get all of them right to get a four. Um, <clears throat> three right would put you at an 86, or sorry, five out of six right would put you at an 86 which would unfortunately run down in this situation. Uh, so test question number one involves solving this equation. We have negative two X plus three equals four X minus nine. Your test question is gonna look similar to this and we will have to solve for X. So there's two things that I wanna do. One, I wanna get my numbers on the same side. Two, I wanna get my letters on the same side. And then I wanna get rid of everything that is around the X. So to start, Mr. Cry hates negative numbers. So I'm gonna move my X's to the other side. 
So to get rid of a negative 2x, I add 2x. Add it to both sides and rewrite. Remember, it is always important to rewrite your equation. One, it helps you keep track to get to the right answer. And two, Mr. Curry can then give you partial credit. If you tell me what the answer is and you're wrong, I can't give you any partial credit, right? But if you tell me what the answer is and you're wrong and you have all the right work and then you didn't add the fraction right or whatever, then I can give you almost all of your points back. So showing your work is a good way to get a good grade. All right, we add two to x to both sides. These cancel and go away, we're left with three. 2x plus 4x is 6x, and we didn't do anything with the 9, so it comes down. Now I've got all my letters together. I need to put all my numbers together. So I'm going to move this 9 to the other side. I get a rate of a negative 9 by adding it to both sides. And I get 12 equals 6x. Last step is we divide both sides by 6. And the correct answer to this equation should be 2, right? If we plug 2 back in to the equation to make sure that we're right, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 3 on this side. Ne uh, 2 times 4 is 8, right? 8 minus 9 on this side. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. 8 minus 9 is negative 1, so we know we are correct. It is also helpful to always go back and plug it in to see if you are correct. Test question number two is quite similar. And then we are trying to solve for x. There's just a few more steps, right? This would be like a five-step equation. First thing I want to do is I want to combine my x's that are on the same side of the equation. So x plus 4x is 5x plus 20 on the bottom. And then 5x plus 3x minus 2 is 8x minus 2. Now, I want to keep uh, my numbers positive. But my next two steps would be combine my numbers, combine my letters, right? So first step, I'm going to combine my letters. I'm going to take the 5x from over here and take the 5x from over there. You could go the other way if you want to, but then you get a negative 3. 5x minus 5x is 0. Didn't do anything with the 20. 8 minus 5x is 3x minus 2. All right, uh, now we need to combine our numbers, so we're going to add that 2 to get rid of the negative 2. And we get 22 equals 3x. And last step, we divide by 3. 22 thirds is our correct answer. Now, don't be intimidated on the test. There are problems that are not going to work out beautifully, right? If you get a fraction or a decimal, that's... <laughs> That might not be the right answer to all of them, but they will definitely be the right answer to some of them. So don't be intimidated by a fraction. You guys can do this, all right? Uh, moving on to test question number three. Um, this one, we are trying to determine if the point negative one, negative one is a solution to both of those lines. So it doesn't work, right? We're gonna take our X value, which is this first negative one, right? And we're going to plug them in to that equation right there. So when I plug them in, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. And that is what we want it to equal, right? That's what our y value is. So we plugged in our x point, we plugged in our y point, and the statement was true. That means the point is on the line. Now is the point on the other line? You are going to have to check if the point is on both of the lines. If the point is only on one of the lines, it's not a solution. So we're going to take our negative 1. We're going to plug it in for the x. Negative negative 1, double negative, would actually be positive 1. And we have positive 1 minus 2. And that does equal negative 1. So it does work for both situations. If one of those equations was not true, then that point would not work for both of those equations. Okay, so to determine whether or not a point is on the line, you're going to plug in your x value, which is your first number. You're going to plug in your y value, which is your second number. And if the statement is true, it's on the line. If the statement is true for both equations, it is a solution to both of those equations. All right. <laughs> um, hopefully... That all made sense just to go over what's going to be on the test, right? We got substitution, we got elimination, you will have to graph something, 
And finally, we have those word problems. Uh, to get a full four, you will have to be able to tell me the systems of equation from a word problem. Um, just getting the answer to the word problem will not be worth a four, but if you are able to write both of the equations and get all of the other ones right, that would be the highest grade I can offer. Um, please return to the live classroom at this point in time. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you guys in a sec.